I'm Andy Bella, and I'm gonna tell you all about Klein Bottles. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do to understand Klein Bottles is to learn what goes into them. And to understand that, we gotta know about Mobius loops, like this one. Now, regular loops have two sides, the inside and the outside. And have two edges, the left and the right. Now, keep your eyes on these two edges. When you combine these two paper loops, each loop loses an edge in order to make one big loop. A Mobius loop, however, only has one side and one edge. Here, let me show you. Hey, I'm back at the start, and I went all over the loop by traveling the one side. Here, let me show you how it has one edge, too. So, now we know that Mobius loops have one side and one edge. So, what's gonna happen if we try to combine two Mobius loops? Each loop should lose in one edge, just like the regular loops, but the Mobius loops only have one edge to lose. That means that the Mobius combo would have to have one side and no edges, but what could that be? Oh, uh, maybe it could be a sphere. That's got no edges. But wait, it has two sides, the inside and the outside, so that won't work. But what about a bottle? Since it's open, the inside and the outside are just one side. But mm, that opening there is an edge, so that won't work either. So maybe we gotta have a shape that's round like a sphere and open like a bottle in order to have one side and no edges. <gasps> maybe it's a- Wait a minute. I bet you thought Klein bottles would be the answer and the whole video would be over. Well, you're partially right. The answer is Klein Bottles, but it's a bit more complicated than you might think. Klein Bottles do have one side and no edges, but they're supposed to exist in the fourth dimension. We live in the third dimension, where we can move forwards, backwards, up, down, left and right. We have depth. There's a second dimension too, but it doesn't have any depth like ours does, so if we lived in it, we'd only be able to move up, down, left and right. The fourth dimension is hard to describe, and it's partially beyond our understanding, but if we did live in the fourth dimension, well, we'd be able to see the climb ball for what it really is. But wait, let's go back, because we can understand how the bottle works pretty well in our own dimension, too. See? I traveled the whole bottle, staying on this one side, and I did it all without crossing any edges. But what's this? This welding, where the bottle intersects with itself, doesn't exist in the fourth dimension. Whoa! Since the welding on this bottle isn't there in the fourth dimension, I drove right through it. So, let's recap. Climb bottles. One side, no edges. All awesome. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you had fun. Bye!